Brotherhood's not just for bikers and soldiers. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Full disclosure, I do have a script in front of me, so if you see my eyes tracking left and right, it's because I'm reading from that, so I won't be staring right at the camera the entire time. All right, let's talk about something that's been bothering me for a while now. Brotherhood as a concept. Now, I know a lot of you out there are grinding, going it alone, and you might think you don't need anyone. I get it. I'm not here to say that men need to spill their emotions to the world. That's not what brotherhood is about. But there's a real strength in having a few close guys you can count on and trust. Not everyone gets it, but that's what we're breaking down here today. Look, men are supposed to be in control. We're expected to handle shit without complaining, and honestly, that's the way it should be. I'm not telling you to cry on someone's shoulder or share every feeling you have with the world. Being stoic is part of what makes us men. But even the most stoic guy needs a solid brotherhood. A few close guys who've been through the fire with him or without him. In their own ways, every guy has been through some shit. Brotherhood isn't about being vulnerable. It's about trust, loyalty, and having someone who understands what it's like being a guy. You know, here's the thing. A lot of us guys out there are isolating ourselves, thinking that we and we alone can handle all of it. And for the most part, maybe you can, but life's a lot harder when you don't have even one or two people who've got your back. I'm not talking about some big circle of friends. I've only made close friends with a small number of people that I've worked with, but friendships, those are different. I don't believe that you can be friends with a coworker. I don't think you should be. Making friends with somebody who you work with is pretty much positioning a dagger at your back because unless you work in completely different parts of that facility, they are probably going to be gunning for your position. It will be competitive, especially in a competitive job field. That being said, a lot of really nice guys that I've met are people who I've worked with. I know this isn't the same for a lot of people, but... Some of the best friendships that I ever made were when I was younger, in high school, playing sports. And I know that a lot of people can't go back and rewind the clock and make those friendships, but maybe you should give that buddy a call that you used to hang out with. That guy on the baseball team or football team, or hell, the guy you used to see for 20 minutes when you were swimming, give him a call. See what he's up to. The best friendships are the ones that last. You don't need a lot of friends, just the right ones. When men isolate, we internalize everything, and sure, we can handle it, but why make life harder than it needs to be? Brotherhood gives you strength without compromising your control. It's not about emotions, it's about resilience and having someone to rely on when shit gets real. I've worked in some dangerous, dirty jobs, climbing water towers, managing a scrapyard, working in labs, and I'll be honest, I didn't make a ton of friends in every place. But the few guys I did connect with, those friendships were forged through shared experiences. We didn't sit around and talk about our feelings. Instead, we built trust by working side by side, tackling problems, and knowing that we could rely on each other if things ever went south. That's the kind of brotherhood that I'm talking about. It's not about emotional vulnerability. It's about knowing that you've got someone in your corner who understands the same grind who's not going to flinch when things get rough. So, why does brotherhood matter? Simple. It keeps you sharp. It keeps you grounded and focused. When you've got a small circle of guys who share your values, you're less likely to let life knock you off track. You don't need to unload your problems on them, but knowing they've got your back allows you to handle everything that comes your way with strength and discipline. Brotherhood is about accountability. It's about surrounding yourself with men who push you to be better, not by talking about emotions, but by leading by example. If you're slipping, they'll let you know. If you're succeeding, they'll stand with you. That's what it means to be a man. You don't need to talk much, but you need to know that someone has your six. My challenge to you, find that one or two guys that you can count on. You don't need a big group, you don't need to spill your guts, but you need men who understand the importance of loyalty and trust. Brotherhood isn't about sharing emotions, it's about building strength together, knowing that when life throws a punch, you've got someone to stand next to you. Stop thinking you have to do everything alone. 
Being strong doesn't mean being isolated. It means being smart enough to recognize the power of loyalty, the strength in having someone you trust. Don't look for emotional support. Look for men who will challenge you, push you, and stand with you through thick and thin. That's what brotherhood is. All right, I think that's going to be all for this one today. Let me know down in the comments, have you guys found your brotherhood? Do you have that little tribe of guys that you guys hang out with? Because I see so many men out there today that don't have anybody in their corner. And I'll be completely honest with you, it's not a sign of weakness. It's necessity. You need to have another man that you can be there with. And I'm very interested to see how many people actually have that bro who they can go hang out with, have a beer, play a video game or something with. But a guy that you know in real life, because so many people out there are just vicariously having friendships through the Internet. I'm curious to know how many people who watch this actually have a circle of dudes in their real life that they hang out with. Take it easy, everyone.